Hi everybody, Dale Campbell here at Don Johnson Motors in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Today I'd like to tell you about our 2019 Chevrolet Equinox. This is a 1LT Premier, a beautiful vehicle and well equipped. It's got silver ice metallic paint on the exterior with the gray and jet black interior. It's just a beautiful combination. Of course in the front you've got the high intensity discharge headlamps, fog lamps, LED daytime driving lights. Really makes you seen when you're coming down the road. Of course, being the Premier, it's got the chrome mirror caps, the chrome window uh, belt moldings, and the surrounds around the door handles. It's just a great vehicle. We put the sun sound and navigation in this, so of course you've got a sunroof, you've got good sound, um, speakers, and then of course you've got the navigation, as we just said. It's got the confidence and convenience package in it also, so all of, all of the safety features, you know, it's really, really comfortable and easy to drive because of that. So you've got the full power seat on the passenger side, eight-way power along with the recliner and the lumbar. Those are heated and cooled front seats. Of course, it has the, again, the uh, 1.5 liter four-cylinder engine and a six-speed automatic transmission to power you down the road. Got the infotainment center up above, your dual climate control with the heated and cooled seats, as I mentioned. Down below, of course, there's a USB port input for an iPod and then another new USB port they've got. It is equipped with wireless charging, so if you did need to uh, charge your phone and it's capable, you can sure do that. All-wheel drive, as I mentioned, so there's your all-wheel drive switch. Electric parking brake along the cup holders and shift handle, and then you get your armrest. There's a tray in there that can be lifted out of the way, so you can see down inside a couple more USB ports for you inside of there. Again, very comfortable front seats. I know I'm sitting in the left side right now full adjustment there so it's very nice. We'll step out now, take a look at the back seat. Got this seat down at this point. Nice how it has the flat surface going all the way to the back. You can put that up very easily. We just lift the edge of the seat, lift up, it latches into place. Those are heated outboard seats. There's an armrest for your guests in the second row. And then there's a couple USB ports along with a 110 power outlet even below that. Vents for you on the rear seat also to help keep you warmer or cooler. As I mentioned, you got the panoramic sunroof. You can see the shades open on that right now and the front glass is actually open. That'll vent or open up. So it gives you lots of extra light. We'll make our way around to the back of the vehicle now. Safety features you have in the back, of course, is the ultrasonic rear park assist. Um, rear cross traffic alert. It's got the backup camera. This also has the full surround vision and HD. We can open this rear gate by pressing a rubber touch pad that's underneath the bow tie. We can use our remote or there's a knob on the driver's door or we can also use our foot. So right underneath the back of the vehicle here, to the left of the license plate, we swing our foot in there, and the taillights flash, you hear the chimes, and the gate opens. It's in the fully upright position right now, or the max opening as we call it. We can set it to three quarters and then program how high you'd like that to, you know, stop to prevent from hitting maybe the uh, next level if you're in a parking ramp or maybe you have a limited height in your garage. So those rear seats fold down. We can either do that from the seats where there's this handle here on the right or the left side. Or now, 18 and 19, we've got these handles in the back we can pull. We'll pull the upper one right now. That'll release the right-hand side. Down it goes. Makes it much easier to load cargo from the back if you've got something that's a little longer. We can also have a little storage here. Notice we did put this cargo liner goes all the way to the back, covers the back of the second row seats also. But then underneath, we'll just lift up right here, a little tether to lift up, a nice storage area underneath for you. Spare tires below that. I'd hope you never have to experience or see that, but it is there. So to close that again, we can either use this button that's right here. We can use our hands free. We'll use our foot down here. There is a knob on the door, which I'll show you that briefly. I'm going to use my foot again. Swing my leg underneath, and uh, of course, make sure I put it in the right spot. And 
tail lights are flashing, you hear the chime and down that gate comes. Make our way around. Again, as I've mentioned, we've got this passive entry system. So I have the remote in my pocket currently. If I walk up to the vehicle and if I touch this nice button right here, it's going to lock the entire vehicle. So now the whole vehicle is locked. A little red light was flashing over on the passenger door. I know you can't see that from here. But, okay, so I walk up to the vehicle now. If I press this button once, I've just unlocked the driver's door. Other three doors are still locked. If I press it a second time in a short enough period of time, now the entire car is unlocked. If I go to any of the other three doors, though, and I can either then lock or unlock the entire car. The whole car is locked right now. Now the whole car is unlocked. Get inside the driver's seat now. On that door, there is the knob to open and close the rear hatch. Notice it is in the max position. You can set it at three quarters and then program where you'd like that to stop, as I mentioned earlier. The memory for the power driver's seat. Two different drivers there, obviously. And of course, your power window switches, your power mirror control, and the lock for the rear windows if you'd had some young people back there who wouldn't quit rolling the windows up and down. Of course, your door lock switch ahead of the door handle. Again, the side of the driver's seat, there's your full power control switches there. So as you get in the vehicle, of course, on the left side of the steering wheel, up on the dash, there's your headlamp control, the switch for the fog lamps. And of course, the steering wheel, the left-hand side is our cruise control here in these outer buttons. But then we've got forward collision alert, which we can make adjustments there. We've got lane departure warning that we can turn on and off here. As the weather were to be a cooler along the way, you may enjoy the heated steering wheel. Right hand side of the face of the steering wheel is your voice command buttons here, here, driver's information buttons here. You do have on the back side of the right hand side of the steering wheel volume controls for the radio up and down, or if you're speaking with somebody on your phone. Back side of the left side of the steering wheel, there are a couple buttons there where you can go through your presets and your radio stations does have, as I mentioned, 360 degree surround vision. That's a very nice feature. They've enhanced that for 2019. Part of the confidence con and convenience group in this is it does have adaptive cruise control. That's a really neat feature for this size SUV. Very handy. The vehicle is equipped with OnStar. It has Wi-Fi capability. We'll go through how you can take advantage of the My Chevrolet app that you can download on your smartphone to start, lock, unlock your vehicle, send destinations and learn all kinds of other things uh, with that app. So I'm glad you stopped by today. Thanks for looking at this 2019 Chevrolet Equinox. Again, this is Dale Campbell. You can find me here at Don Johnson Motors in Rice Lake, Wisconsin at 715-475-1414. Thanks again.